I've had enough of this city for one day. you again, Mr. Capello. Or do you prefer DeAndrea? Or Nicky the Knife? How those track with all your aliases? I object, Your Honor. I think by now defense counsel is familiar with the witness's name. I expect closing arguments today, Mr. Stein. So please, skip the theatrics you've so adroitly managed to slip in during this entire trial and ask your question. Mr. Capello, you have admitted that you'd have killed on occasion. On Ringerman's orders. You've also told us that you've lied for Mr. Ringerman in the past. Hey, I'm a stand-up guy. I work for somebody, I work for him, no matter what it takes. Yet you're here today, trying to put Mr. Ringerman in jail for a crime he did not commit. He committed. I saw it. I was there. You admit you lie? Why should the jury assume that you're not lying to them? Because I ain't. <coughs> Don't insult the court, Mr. Capello. Did you or did you not make a deal with the DA's office in return for your testimony? Objection, that has no bearing whatsoever. You're working for the DA's office now, like you were working for Mr. Ringham, and would you lie for the DA? Objection! Would you lie to stay out of jail like you have in the past? I object! Sustain. Counsels, approach the bench. You got us good. We still have our last witness. Closing arguments immediately after recess. I have one more rebuttal witness, Your Honor. I know nothing of any other witness. I object at this stage of the proceedings. This witness was afraid. She feared for her life and would not come forward until today. Mr. Stein knows who this witness is by name, and he knows what she will do to his case if he keeps it from testifying. You feel this witness's testimony will have that much effect on the case? Calls Madeline Doherty to the stand. One moment, we have to go to the door. I don't know, Dan, something's wrong with her. Please tell the court exactly what you told my assistant early this morning. I... I... Take your time, Miss Doherty. No one is going to hurt you. Just speak the truth. Please tell the court your connection to Mr. Ringerman. I don't have one. You don't have... Miss Doherty, don't you work for the Argent Corporation as a bookkeeper? And didn't you, while working with the company ledgers, come across evidence that proves that Mr. Ringerman not only is a secret owner of the company, but that the company itself is nothing more than a money laundering front for Mr. Ringerman? I know nothing about any of that, and I have no proof. Miss Doherty, you told my assistant something very different this morning. That I was mistaken. How could you be mistaken? You came forward voluntarily. I was confused. I was mistaken. I don't know anything about Mr. Ringerman. Your Honor, this witness is obviously terrified. I object. There is no evidence to support counsel's statement. I have to agree with Mr. Stein. Does the witness realize the seriousness of perjuring her admission to the DA's office this morning? I... 
I don't know anything, anything about Mr. Ringerman's business. Mr. Mr. Ringerman, can you give me anything for the evening news, sir? We were confident in the legal system all along and in the good members of the jury. Can I have a comment, Mr. Mr. Ringerman has no comment to make to the press at this time. Thank you very much. Mr. Ringerman, our viewers need to hear from you, sir. No further comment. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know what to say. Whatever there was to say, it should have been said in here. I understand if you um, press charges against me. I think we're done pressing charges in any matters regarding Thomas Ringerman. We had our shot. Justice wasn't on our side. I did exactly what you wanted. Now let my brother go. Just continue to do as you're told and you'll get what you want. That's the way it works. I did what you wanted. You said... I said do as you're told. You're not done doing that. Get a pen and piece of paper. Write this down. Because if you forget, you'll have no way of reaching your brother ever again. I'm on the pier near 10th Street. Walk past the warehouse with the old Cavanaugh Maritime and salvage sign. Hope to see you there. But probably not as much as your brother does. And be careful. It's not a neighborhood for a pretty lady to be wandering around in at night. telling ghost stories as a kid. Remember turning all the lights off and huddling together with a flashlight and trying to dream up the worst nightmares possible? Well, I bet you never dreamt up anything like me. We're gonna have a scary time. Me, you, and your sister. <laughs> I love this crap. It's good to see you laughing again, Tommy. It's been a while. I mean, that judge took care of you. He didn't give that DA an inch. Now, it would have been the same last year if Kane had been on the bench. I don't get nervous about little girls with big mouths. I don't get nervous about dead men. If I had to worry about dead men, I'd have ten times as many worries as I have now. Some guys think, you know, he's still around. I mean, you must have heard. Toomey says it was Judge Kane who nailed him in Patty Boxcars last month. <laughs> Toomey's doing his time at the State Laughing Academy. You don't think he was serious, do you? He didn't want to do hard time, so he came up with that Kane still being alive garbage to help him cop a plea for soft walls. He'll be out in a few years with pottery he made for us all. He never said Kane was still alive. Enough! She's here. Ha, 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 ha. 
talking about coming back from the dead. And you and your brother can give us a first-hand report whether or not that's possible. Just let Patrick go. Please. Please, just let him go. He won't... He can't do anything to you. You're so right. No one can do anything to me. Not your brother, not you, not the police. Not even ghosts. <laughs> better than that. What about my, my brother? Go kill him. Make him scream loud enough for her to hear. No! 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 Hey, did you guys give him a new wardrobe to be buried in? You do to him! Oh 
Okay, man. Okay, what is this? What are you doing? Who are you? I'm your judge and jury. And if necessary, I'm your executioner. You're crazy! <laughs> What the hell are you? You're a robot. You're a damned robot. No, Ringerman. I'm a ghost story. I confess to the charges of kidnapping Patrick Doherty. Kidnapping him with the intent of forcing Madeline Doherty to change her testimony. Her testimony would have sunk me. And I knew to save her brother's life, she would do anything. Even lie. In open court. Right there, to save his life, that's it. He admits he was planning to kill him. You're going to have to go over this again and again and again. Here and in court. You have no idea who it was who gave you this videotape, who it was that saved you. I mean, mystery men who materialize from the night sky don't cut it for a jury. And this testimony could get thrown out, except... Except what? Except when I contacted Stein, Ringerman's attorney, this morning, he'd already spoken with his client. Ringerman wants to try to make a deal. So he's not even trying to say he was coerced into a confession? No, he's not. Which makes no sense. It makes no damn sense at all. Unless he's afraid. More afraid than going to jail. Afraid of what, though? Of who? Of ghosts. Ghosts? From what I hear of Tommy Ringerman, he won't give up till he sees you dead. He already has. You spook me too when you get this way, Judge. A word of friendly advice? You're getting off on this dark Avenger gig way too much. Computers, electronics, even some makeup. I didn't know your expertise spilled over into psychoanalysis. It's just the stuff I pick up from the prison shrink. The freak on movies I used to see as a kid. All them deformed guys. I start to go bonkers after a while. It's a strain from having to hide in the dark so long. The only strain I might feel is having to put up with this thrift shop equipment you send me out there with. Hey, hey, hey. Thrift shop my tuckers. I use the same components you find in anything made by Sony. Well, when I want to take on the criminal element with a VCR, I'll call. Oh, wait, what'd you do? Downfield block an express train? Hey, one of Ringerman's associates tried to take off my arm with a pipe. How 
much longer you think you can get away with this, Judge? I mean, uh, sooner or later, someone's gonna figure you out. No one will figure me out. Not unless somebody tells them. Don't run that rap on me. I'd be doing hard time on the dark side of Pluto if not for you. I just... Speaking of which, I gotta get back to my nice, safe cell tonight. I'm gonna get in deep guano and blow the work for all you got me. You should have left. Eh, I just wanted to finish up some work in this new tear gas pellet. I think I found a way we can load it under the laser. What would you say if I could put you into all the police interrogation rooms down in Central Division? They cabled up the building and all the cameras are uh, centrally linked. And you say you're not into all this? Oh, no, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not into throwing on strange get-ups and uh, going around scaring the crap out of bad guys with a whisper, but you and me, we're like courageous cat and minute mouse. Why, Ray, be careful. Your emotions are showing. I don't care any farther than being concerned with who gets all this if you don't come back one day. I mean, I built all this stuff. I feel, you know, owner-like. So for however many of those hats you got laying around, which I would not be caught dead in. Scratch that. But I don't know what happens once you walk out your secret panel there. You know, like this Ringerman. He can be a real bad tune. So can I. The Grim Reaper has struck again. The police say the Reaper claimed his fourth victim earlier this evening in the exclusive Oakhurst district of the city. Like the other Reaper victims, Janice Elwick was in her early 20s. A and alone. Is that like a King Kong laser or what? Anyway. Here are the blueprints, the Central Division downtown. I think if we mount a microwave dish on a building above the west side, we can pull in from the main terminal. Yes? Until now, no, maybe? No oh. indication by the police that there have been any suspects in the case, indeed, that there have been any leads at all. But tonight, Captain Strauss has implied otherwise. Oh, you can't wait for that one to be on trial, can you? On the warpath again. We put one to bed already. You're looking to be back on the case. I might be back on the case. You're going to be back in jail. Turbines to speed, batteries to power, bath thrusters ready. <laughs> when we do this, I can't resist. <laughs> See, Ray, talk to your shrink. There's a little Lone Ranger in all of us. earlier today with Captain David Strauss and Commissioner Peter Kinghorn. Uh, Captain Strauss and myself, and indeed the entire police department, was caught off guard by this turnaround in the Thomas Ringerman case. As long as truth prevails, and matters reach their proper end, then justice has been served, and the department and Captain Strauss are here to see that that happens. What about the Grim Reaper? Is it true you have a suspect? Well, I'll address that uh, later today, all right. There's even a rumor that you have a confession. Uh, like I said, there'll be a formal explanation from Captain Strauss uh, later today. Uh, no, thank you very much. All right, that's enough. No more questions. Excuse Commissioner, me. just 
once, I'm dying to see you catch a couple of minutes of Wheel of Fortune or Pink Panther or something truly frivolous, like a guy in a black hat would watch. I mean, you have seen Casablanca, haven't you? Everyone's seen Casablanca, right? You know, not that I'm crazy about this gig, but uh, we never have any company picnics, office Christmas parties, no softball league. You think we take our jobs too seriously? I never get an end of the year bonus. Well, we haven't been together for a year yet. Oh, well, let's chalk that up to a subtle reminder then. You want to come in, meet the gang? As a matter of fact, you know some of them. You put them here. A bunch of them probably left to make your personalized license plate. Send my regards for me. Mention how close we are, you and I. You gonna check up on this Grim Reaper? That means going to Kinghorn's. Why don't you let me do that? Kinghorn finds out you're not really at the bottom of the river. He'll be more dangerous for you than any ten gals in here. Not to mention your daughter. I'll go to Kinghorn. Amanda? Honey, are you okay? I was worried. Libby and Tracy said you thought someone was in the bushes. He was there, Mommy. He gave me these. Who, Amanda? Who gave you these? A man in the bushes? Who was he? I don't know. I didn't see him. Didn't you say Daddy gave me white roses on my birthday? Didn't you say he gave me one for each year? Yes. Now, what the hell happened with Ringerman? Well, he refuses to speak to anyone except his lawyer and the district attorney. <laughs> He's gonna deal, Pete. Why? And it makes no sense. I mean, why the hell is he gonna do that? 
He was off. God in heaven, he was walking. I gave him every chance, even getting him with Judge Reasoner. He know the kind of maneuvering that took? He doesn't seem to care. He just wants to make his deal and do his time. Wait, what are you doing? It's a $10,000 piece of free Columbian pottery. Well, whoever sold you this should be on the 10 most wanted. What about us? Hmm? What is Ringerman going to say about us? Nothing. He won't say anything. There's no connection, and we did the right thing. He'll remember that. Now, what happened Friday night, the confession, I don't know if we'll ever know. And I don't care. I heard talk of Cain. Cain's dead. Did his name ever come up in connection with Ringerman? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe or yes. Which? Yes, I think so. I, I, I don't know. That's all so vague. What are you worried about a dead man? Because this wasn't the first time his name came up. What if he left something behind? What if he wrote something down? He didn't have anything to write down. Cain was the damn toughest judge walking the earth. You think he would have settled for a couple of threats? When he could have had us standing before him in his own court? Eventually, he would have turned up something. But he never had anything, anything concrete, while he was alive. There'll never be anything now that he's dead. He is dead. He is dead. And no matter what anybody dreams up or whispers in the streets, he's staying dead. All this talk, though, is just so crazy. A phantom judge with the face from hell. Yeah. The guy I had with me that night, he must have talked. You never told me you were actually there. I never told you anything. You never wanted to know. Like how we used acid. So everyone would think that it was a vendetta, and not just a random homicide. Oh, my God. You don't have the stomach for it, huh? Well, I don't have the stomach to send a man to his death. A man like Cain. Unless I'm there to do it. McCready. McCready, I'm looking at an open roof door and stairwell too. We'll check it out pronto, Mr. Kinghorn. You do that, McCready. And then decide what you're going to say in your resignation. I have to do your job for you again. Relax, Pete. Hmm? Whatever else we have to worry about, whatever or whoever is going to take us to task, it's not going to be a man named Cain. Magruder, you still on seven? In elevator four, just coming down. You told me to look in on Mr. Applegate's office next. Right, right. What about you, Harv? Okay, here. Everything checks out. This is Gunderson. I'm just coming out of the men's room on 12. The uh, roof door in stairwell 2, Gunderson. Looks like it's open. Check it out. The door is open. No sign of it being forced. Didn't we have this elevator serviced up here this morning? Maybe Morrissey didn't lock it up before he went to lunch. <laughs> I'll worry about Morrissey. You look around. 10-4. Nobody up here but me and some pigeons. What about the Reaper? The public is.
is screaming for blood over these Grim Reaper murders, and it's not going to be mine. Now, what are you saying? It's going to be mine? I just don't want to wind up on the six o'clock news, another Ringerman fiasco. Do you have any kind of leads? Can you make up any? I could, but we don't have to. I've got a suspect. You do? Why wasn't I informed? Because it just happened early this morning, and I didn't want to call. In case you told Bonnie you were with me. The guy's an outpatient at a psychiatric hospital over in Highland Park. We got tipped to the guy by the director of the institute. Jeez. A doctor rolling over on his own patient. Some ethics. <laughs> yeah. You just can't trust anybody anymore, can you, Commissioner? Unlike two such above reproach members of society like us. Find your conscience on your own dollar, Strauss. You get those charges filed because I'm going to be standing by and make up tomorrow to make the announcement about the arrest. The city is going to see their government as effective. That we can get a lunatic like this off the streets. You think he's guilty? Does it matter? Get me an arrest. Don't worry. No one's going to take away your commissioner's hat. That's why we had to eliminate Kane, isn't it? things that I feel are dreams, but I know are not. I have some things here I want you to look at, Walter. Photographs. They're police photographs. Police? I just want you to look at them. Tell me how they make you feel, what they remind you of, if anything. They're not very pleasant. I'm convinced. I'm not. Well, this is a change of heart. I'm not saying I don't believe it's possible. I'm just saying I'm not convinced. I'm not sure what I am. I mean, I'm not even sure why I did this. This is a breach of every ethic I can think of. Doctor-patient confidentiality. Uh... There is no doctor-patient confidentiality when the doctor's made aware that a crime has been committed. All I have is a sick man who has dreams. They're not dreams, doctor. Dreams aren't real. See, this man has described to you every murder that's taken place. You don't even keep this type locked up. He gets to roam around, slips away when he wants, and comes back in for his evening medication. That's pretty good. This type is just a man suffering from circumscribed amnesia brought on by severe trauma. Until a couple of days ago, he wasn't even staying here, Captain Strauss. He was being treated as an outpatient, just coming in for his therapy with Dr. Russell. She just admitted him the other night when... Yeah, when he came in with blood on him, yes. Yeah. It's too bad you run such an efficient hospital here, Doctor. I would have liked to have analyzed that blood before your staff had washed it off, Mr. Donovan. Does he remember the blood, Doctor? Or can he conveniently forget that, too, uh, with his own... What is it? What kind of amnesia? Circumscribed amnesia. Partial amnesia that allows you to remember things from the past, but it's like dropping a wall at a certain point and not being able to remember from that moment to the present, like carving out one particular piece of your life. Yeah, like something traumatic, so bad that you don't want to remember it. Don't play psychiatrist with me, Captain. And you don't play cop.
I, I have some others for you to look at. I don't need to see them. I know they're disturbing, but you should really see these others. I don't need to see them. <sighs> the other two, aren't they? You had a girl with the red hair. And the seashells. She was wearing earrings with little seashells. Determination to be made by you and other members of the medical profession. I'm just going to charge him and let the system take over. Then what's bothering you, Captain Strauss? You look troubled. Haunted. Now, that's a bad choice of words, Doctor. Let me ask you. Is there any reason why I'm suddenly having the same dream over and over again? It's a dream I used to have a long time ago. <clears throat> and I'm suddenly, suddenly it's cropping up again. Could mean many things. Could mean you just can't hide from it anymore. Hide from what? Whatever it is about this nightmare that you want to forget. Well, I, I didn't say it was a nightmare. But a couple of officers will be here for Donovan in the morning. Good night, Captain. Sleep well. Tanya, how's Mr. Donovan doing? I've just come to discuss that with you, Colin. Your secretary said you were with the police. They were here about Walter, weren't they? Yes. We were supposed to discuss this. Perhaps you should have a talk with Merch or Tucker. Perhaps they felt it was their civic obligation to contact the authorities. They came to me despite your recommendation not to. I was only reminding them who Walter's doctor is, Colin. I hope you haven't forgotten that either, or that I'm also your sister. Oh, I haven't forgotten. And I hope you haven't forgotten who the director of this institute is. Where'd you get that stuff? The forensics lab. I have to ask you if anybody knows what you needed it for? No, I was in there when Levine was doing the fish bind autopsy. When he went to the can, I filched it. Amazing how this stuff won't do a thing to glass, but man, what it'll do to metal. Not to mention skin.
Yeah. Captain, sorry about the hour, but I thought you'd want to know. That bastard struck again. The Reaper. Where? When? We've got the time figured as about an hour ago, but, but there's more. I called Dr. Tremaine in the Institute, you know, right from the murder scene. Tremaine went to see his patient at big surprise. Our amnesia victim had slipped out and was just coming in covered in blood, and it wasn't his own. All right. Good work, Wes. That's real good work. I'll be right down. I thought you'd want to know right away. Sorry to wake you. Well, that's okay. I've been sleeping too much lately anyway. First District Court is now in session. The People versus Walter Donovan. Mr. Donovan, do you realize what is taking place today? Yes, yes, sir. This is not a trial. This is a hearing to determine whether or not you should be tried regarding the deaths of the six women with which you've been charged. Your Honor, as you can see, my client has been voluntarily under psychiatric care for the past two months. Since having a serious automobile accident, he has been experiencing a temporary memory lapse. In light of this medical situation, I would hope the court would understand he cannot hope to receive the proper medical expertise in a prison hospital. Very well. Give me a moment, please. I don't want you here. I don't want you to listen to this. I'll be okay, Walter. I'll be okay. Susie, how's Susie? Where does she think I am? Has she seen anything? She just thinks you're in the hospital. That her daddy is sick. I don't let her watch the news. And I kept her out of school this week. Can't keep her home from school the rest of her life. She won't have to worry about that. You'll be home soon. Mr. Underwood, what is your feeling regarding Mr. Donovan's medical history? Your Honor, I appreciate what defense counsel is saying. But we are talking about charges of multiple homicide in the first degree. The defendant cannot be released on bail. I appreciate that, Mr. Underwood. And under other circumstances, I would agree with you. But I do not want the defendant's health, mental or otherwise, unduly at risk. Mr. Newton, do you have a suggestion? Dr. Tremaine's institute, where my client currently resides, does have a security wing, where I believe that Mr. Donovan could be incarcerated and still be available for proper treatment. Very well, but I would hold one person responsible for Mr. Donovan's care. Perhaps his doctor of record? I've discussed that with Dr. Tremaine, and uh, we both agreed that he should be that person. Are you comfortable with those arrangements, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan, are you all right? Am I all right? I woke up with blood all over me, Judge. That's enough, Walter. I don't know if I'm all right. See, nobody knows if I'm all right. You don't need to say anything, Mr. Donovan. Just need to know, because I remember killing them. I remember killing them, Judge. I remember killing them. 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 There's no doubt this guy's the Grim Reaper, Judge, so uh, let's boogie onto something else. Something we can really sink our teeth into. Pull up that file I asked you for. You know, I'm not doing your taxes or running a daily planner here. You know, you got me accessing the police central mainframe. It takes a bit of genius and time. If I'm not careful, they'll lock on to us and trace us back. They trade hackers all the time. Now, that wouldn't do, would it? To have a knock on the old silo here. A couple of the old team in blue. Their eyes lighten up in surprise. Hey, Judge! What you been up to this past year besides terrorizing the ungodly and running around the subways? I want everything not released to the public on the Grim Reaper murders. If we ever get caught, certain people are just going to kill you, Judge. But I'm going to have to take my summers in Tibet. Read it and weep. Get ready to settle up, partner. We're riding into town tonight. Well, I don't see anything. Nothing I haven't read or seen on the tube. Exactly. There's only one way Donovan could have information about the murders that aren't on the file. Yeah, he's the murderer. Or the murderer gave him to him, maybe without Donovan's knowledge. Well, that's supposing Donovan isn't the Reaper, and why should we suppose that? Because on the night the Hillman girl was murdered, Donovan had an alibi that satisfies me a thousand percent. Oh, I know this is going to be good. I was with him in his room all night.
Why? Why is Dr. Tremaine on my case? Why not you? Why, why aren't you my doctor any longer? I don't know why Dr. in my house I'm here to talk to you about Walter Donovan I don't understand look I don't know how you got in this house or, 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 or how you got these tapes from your office please don't do that I know it's a panic button that signals a security system but please don't press it not until you've heard what I have to say because I believe that together we can convince the court of Donovan's innocence how do you know of any of this who are you what are you? You told the DA that even though Donovan had knowledge of the Grim Reaper murders, facts that only the murderer could know, you were not convinced of his guilt. How do you know what I said to the DA? Or did you break into their office in the middle of the night, too? I know things. Such as someone else told the police of Donovan's confessions. Someone else who had access to his medical files and tapes. Someone else who could alter the medication prescribed by you. The medication? No, no one can do that. No one can change anything that I've prescribed, except maybe... Dr. Tremaine. Dr. Tremaine is one of the finest psychiatric doctors in this country. I don't believe he would betray a patient like that. He's the one that fed Donovan to the police. Maybe to cover up for somebody else. Check the Institute. Find out if Tremaine changed Donovan's medication. This is preposterous. Some lunatic in a black coat and a hat comes riding in like Zorro, and I'm supposed to do what you ask? Surely doctors of psychiatry are not supposed to use words like lunatic. In instances like this, they do. Why? Why should I listen to you? Because you're the member of a profession that deals in learning the truth. I can show you the truth. All right. I'll go to the office, but I can... Damn, oh, I don't know, Kimosabi. There's an awful lot of microwave activity out here. A lot of satellite dishes from that broadcasting station we passed coming up South Street. Getting jammed out the wazoo. Keep at it. I want everything in the Institute's computer on Walter Donovan's treatments. I'll phone if I get work. Wait a minute. You really believe this Donovan is getting more than Thorazine treatments in there? I slipped into his room as soon as he was brought there that night. I stayed until 4 a.m. The police file you pulled said that Sylvie Hillman was murdered at 3 a.m. So however Walter Donovan got soaked in blood, blood, mind you, that matched that off the Hillman girl, it happened after the fact, by somebody else that was at the murder scene. It's too bad there's already a Wizard of Oz judge, or your next career would be a lock. If I'm not home by midnight, call the president. No problem. His number's in the auto dialer. He said he'd come back. He said, he, he, he said he'd come back. Come on, Walter. Down the hatch. Do as she says, Mr. D. We're all buddies here. And I know it's not you two, but there's one orderly that's decided he can leave things laying about without putting them away. Scully told me this morning. I don't know who it is unless it's that new guy, Deacon. Yeah. Well, have a talk with him. I'll have a talk with him. And behave, or I'll have to have a talk with you.
You did as I said. You've been avoiding taking your drugs. Good. I didn't think you were coming back. I, I started to think there was no one to be coming back. I thought maybe this was all part of what's wrong with me. I can't speak to your amnesia, but part of what's wrong with you is these. You know, in the past few years, they've made some interesting discoveries in the relationship between blood chemistry and mental disorders. You've been receiving a dangerous dosage of a complex chemical compound, which can, in a normal human being, temporarily duplicate all of the mental and physical and sensory symptoms of a violent schizophrenic. My God. They've been making me into a monster? No. They just made it appear that way. You haven't killed anyone. At least, not to my knowledge. But I see them. I see the women screaming and dying. I see them. Someone is making you see them. Is someone making me see the blood? The blood from one of the victims? How does it get there? If, if, if not, if, if I did... Not how. The question is, who? Who is putting it there? And the answer is the Reaper. The true Reaper. You have no idea how much I want to believe you. How much I need to believe you. My little girl. She's only five. That's all I think about. Even my wife, I mean, it kills me not to be with her, but my baby needs me. Who will take care of her? Who will watch out for her? I missed the father-daughter dance last night. The daddies with their little girls. And I couldn't be there for her. I missed it. You haven't told anyone about my visit the other night, have you? Anyone? No, no. Not that I know of. How do you get in here? As Houdini once postulated, certain places are made not to be broken into. That's why he always insisted on being locked inside the safe. These rooms were designed not to be broken out of. They're easy to get into from the corridor. But then how do you get out? Slide of hand. What do I do? Just what you've been doing. You wait to hear from me, and you avoid taking that medication as best you can. We're going to need hard evidence. And someone on your side. You're on my side. Someone real on your side. Someone who can stand up for you in court. It's all in the touch. Wait. Why? Why do you do this? Why do you do this the way you do it? Because they make me. Yes, Gina, Tanya. No, I came to the office. Do you have that information I called you about? He did? When? Uh, no, 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 he, he did clear it with me. I just, thank you. The main did change the medication. I didn't even, I didn't even hear you at all. I didn't know when I'd see you again, or if I even would. I, uh, this whole thing is... Crazy? Psychiatrists don't use words like that. Look, what do I do? How do I handle this? I have to call the police. First, you need something definitive to take to them. When you have it, you go to District Attorney Dan Underwood. He'll know what to do, and you can trust him. What an odd thing to say. Do you work with him? Does he know you? No one knows me. You don't seem like a man who has to hide. Why do you? Bring Tremaine here. Why? What are you going to do to him? Talk to him. Oh. 
loving blood on them. I can't hear her scream. Oh, I can't hear her screaming, but I know she does. I, I don't know why I can't see her face clearly enough. I, I, I never see her faces. I, Donovan locked up in the security wing. Then they'll know he can't have been the Reaper. Dear God, you fight me every step of the way. Oh, God, how can I help you hide what you are if you won't let me? I don't think I can do this anymore. You're getting worse. later when another girl is dead and they know they have the wrong man, where will they look? I promise to. I'll help you. But you must listen to me. You must do as I say. You can't hide any more of these recordings from me. They all have to be erased. All. Let me speak to Mert. Mert, Dr. Russell. There's someone in my office.
Everything's gonna be okay now, Colin. Everything's gonna be okay. Fifteen cc's. Fifteen. Oh. We're gonna find out exactly who this is. Put it back on him. Put it back on him. in another hour. Keep her up if you can. I've got someone here who wants to sleep over with her tonight. Well, I think it's the one she wanted. No matter, if she doesn't want it, it can sleep with me. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing. It's just a business meeting. Yeah, yeah, it has to do with Kinghorn. Karen, it's nothing to worry about. I'll be home before you know it. Make sure Amanda waits up for me. Love you. I surely don't. But that's what Kinghorn wanted to try. So we figured the two most important things in your life are your wife and your baby girl. Now, Kinghorn figured we'd take one from you. Yeah. We'd kill one. Maybe you'd stay in line so you didn't lose the other. It's not a bad plan. But this is simpler. I'll get you, Strauss. You and that bastard masquerading as a police commissioner. I'll get you. From the grave. If that's what it takes, you'll get swallowed. Even if for my murder, in a way that would be me getting you, even from the grave. Now you talk nasty like that to me, Judge. And I may go visit your wife and kid tonight, even while you're taking your first harp lesson. I may go see them and arrange a family reunion.
we'll get you home. Judge! God, Judge, it's you! Oh. Oh. oh, God! Judge, oh! Father is right. Why did you bring him here? Why not to the police? No. 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 That's why. He doesn't want the police. He's in shock. He doesn't know what he wants or needs. I cannot do for him here what he requires. You must take him to the clinic. As far as I know, the police did this. I was meeting him because he had me digging up files on... You don't know. This appears to be some kind of carbolic acid. There's probably been nerve damage. He's going to lose the hand. Whatever it takes, you have to do it, Lee. I owe this guy. He's the judge. He's the reason I'm not in there with the hard timers and the scuzz buckets. And he's the one who gave me the chance. I'm asking you, as my brother, you have to do what it takes, Lee. I'll do whatever you need. If he dies? Oh, if he dies, I'm in deep anyway. I mean, who's gonna believe a convict out on furlough with a dead judge on her hands? Lee, the guy trusted me. A judge trusted a convict to dig up files on the police. Now I turn him in, he could be a lot worse than what you see here. Ray, with what exists in medicine today, you have no idea how much I could help him if he goes to a trauma center. Look, we keep him here, even with everything I could do. Look, when this man realizes what he will be, he may hate us. No. No. For least. He'll be alive, won't he? Glad I was able to find you. You're not going to believe what I have to tell you. What? Tremaine. Tremaine. Colin? You better come now. Colin! I gotta go. You better hang up. You better come here and hear what else he has to say. Did you locate Commissioner Kinghorn yet? No, Captain. I left word at his home and his office. Well, you keep trying. Call both his girlfriends if you have to, but you find him. And take care of the other matter pronto and get out of here. Already made the stop and I'm on my way. And I left word for the Commissioner you have something you really want to hear. No, it's not something he wants to hear. It's not something he wants to hear at all.
room. No one can see in. Captain Strauss, I'm supposed to meet Dr. Tremaine in OI1. I'll show you the way. Well, uh, just tell me, thanks. I'll Captain, Captain Strauss, I'm Dr. Russell. Dr. Tremaine asked me to meet you. All right, let's go. Listen, I'm expecting someone. Just send them up. said you'd be along. Oh, you did? He told me to send you on down. Up the corridor, to the left, operating room one. Nothing like a little police cooperation, man. Right? Ah! Remember that family reunion I promised you? Well, today's the day. Don't you want to say hi to your daughter and goodbye once more? Huh? Talk to your daddy, sweetheart. Tell your daddy to come on out. Come on. Come on. Go on. He told you to call your dad. My, my daddy's dead. Well, how right you are. Your last chance to look, Kane. Uh Take it easy, take it easy. Now, just watch the door. This is not breathing room. An emergency generator should kick on. Why don't you stand up and face me? 
You wanted me. <laughs> you got me. understand what you've done for me just this morning I mean just this morning I thought my life as I knew it was over looking across at my home knowing Susie and Lisa are waiting for me that I'm gonna walk through that door like I have so many other times I feel reborn when I truly lost all hope you've given me a second chance at life what can I do to thank you for that Use it. How will I find you again? How do I contact you? What if I need you? You won't need me, Walter. You won't need me. And if you do, I'll be listening. turn of events connected with the Grim Reaper murders, but it is suspected that the man who kidnapped Amanda Kane, daughter of the late Judge Paul Kane, was indeed a city police officer named Kevin Wesley. Wesley died tonight in the fire at the Broadmoor Institute, along with Captain Strauss, Dr. Colin Tremaine, and Dr. Tanya Russell. There are unsubstantiated rumors that Dr. Tremaine is going to be named in connection with the Reaper murders, along with his sister, Dr. Tanya Russell, who also worked at the Institute. It is believed they conspired together to have one of their patients, Walter Donovan, convicted of the heinous Reaper crime. I, I have no idea what happened or why. I, I was out for the evening and someone came to the babysitter and identified themselves as a police officer and took my daughter. And why Amanda Kane was taken from her home tonight is a complete mystery. Why did that man say I was going to meet Daddy? For a minute he made me think Daddy was alive. 
I can't explain why people do such cruel things, honey. They're sick people, they need help, and sometimes innocent people get hurt by their illness. But you don't have anything to worry about. I'm here, and I love you. Will you stay with me for a while? I'm afraid, afraid of the monster. Oh, sure, baby. I'm just gonna make sure the door is locked, okay? I'll be right back. But what if the monster comes back? Oh, honey, mm, you won't. I'll be one minute. Here, while I'm gone, you hold this. You don't have anything to worry about. What do I always tell you? Daddy watches over us. And Daddy will protect you from the monster, okay? Mm. You'll protect me from the monster, Daddy. You'll protect me.